Hi everyone, it's Bradley at Print23D.com and today I'm bringing you a sample part printed on the Desktop Factory 125CI 3D printer which is not even on the market yet. Now this sample part I'm about to show you was designed by me in CAD software and it was sent to Desktop Factory as a test part um, so Desktop Factory could test the printer and uh, work out all the bugs before it's released. So here it is. Now as I was told by Kathy Lewis from Desktop Factory, this is supposed to be the final formulation of the material. So this is going to be very similar to an actual part you'd see printed on the production version of the machine. Now as always, they're working to improve the machine and its capabilities. As I was told by Kathy also, this, this part here is pushing the limits of the the minimum wall thickness that the printer can handle. As you can see, it's probably about, it's about, I believe, 60 thousandths in thickness right here. Now, as you can see, the material does appear to have some flexibility. I'm not sure how much. I don't want to break the model because it's uh, <laughs> very special to me, so I don't want to damage it. Because not many people have uh, sample parts from Desktop Factory. You can also see this part on their photo gallery on their on their website. It's on the main page. You can click on their their gallery and it'll be be listed under their photos. As you can see, it does have some defects, especially right here, which is the very thin part of the model. Not sure if you can see that, but right in here, there's a little bit of defects. There's also a crack. You probably can't see it, but there's a crack on one of these sides here on the where the layers are. It's probably due to layer separation. And also this part was braised. It was uh, braised under a torch to make it a little smoother. So if you have any questions put them in the comments below. Maybe I'll be able to answer some of them. I probably won't be able to answer all of them but I do have, you know, some information about the machine and the you know, material costs and, and pricing and and the machine is supposed to be out early 2009 as far as I know. And um, of course that's always subject to change due to, you know, testing and how their testing goes and, you know, various reasons. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.